I'm Van. I'm sorry. That's Booby. And Jolpy and Ghosty and Chip. Uh, this is, uh, what did you call them? Boo Boo Hoos? <laughs> I don't know. Boo Hoos? Boo Hoos. Boo Hoos. I was like, oh, it's you dumb butt. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> you butt. Oh, so uh, this is the last and final song in our CS-a-thon. Wait, CSN? CS is it CSN-a-thon? CSN-a-thon. Sorry, guys. Uh, shout out to Painful Smile, by the way. I'm looking at our uh, our thingies, and it's got the names of the people that, that subscribe to us. Oh. And uh, Painful Smile just, just, oh. just popped you know, out. That's a really cool name, but yeah. also sad. I'd also like to see that person's, uh, what do you call it? The little picture that represents them? Yeah, I forgot the name of this thing. It was before Facebook. It was like years before on Facebook. It was this thing, and there my was this, this this person named Bananas I used to talk to. She was from California. It was before MySpace. R yeah, yeah. Really? I forgot what it was called. Her name was Bananas, oh. and uh, she was from Cali. And I used to talk to her a lot. I wonder where she is. Shout out to Bananas. <laughs> All right, uh, this is Bauhaus. The name of the song is Double Dare. And uh, did we talk about Middle America? We did. A timely topical political commentary can hit us up at Middle America with Vin and Sorry. Let's go. This is because we didn't, we missed a couple of songs on the Rockathon. So we're doing a special little one for this guy that we missed it for. Ready? Go. <laughs>
was a weird song. What a weird song. <laughs> it was a weird song, <laughs> but I enjoyed it thoroughly from start to finish. And I like the dun 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 dun. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. It, it, it was. It was I, did we listen to these guys? A God in an Alcove? I feel like we listened to that song. Yeah, I feel like we did too. <sighs> yeah, I. I uh, I really, really like this song, but I'm I'm looking at myself being like, why did you like this song so much? Uh -huh. I don't know if it was the... I don't know. I don't know why I like the song so much, but I really, really enjoyed it. Well, I like the, uh, the way it was kind of at the beginning. Yeah. Well, this should be the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked that. And then it was like, I don't know, it was very strange. And... I don't even know what I'm talking. What it's talking about. I dare you about. to be real, to be touched, to touch a flickering flame. The pangs, the pans of dark delight. Don't cower, don't cower in the night. Don't back away just yet from destination set. I dare you to be proud. I dare you to shout aloud for convictions that you feel like sound from bells to peel. I dare you to despise bureaucracy and all its lies in the void. In the void they steer. They never, they never dare to dare. So it just looks like people playing it safe, and he's telling them, don't play it safe, like speak your convictions, say mm -hmm. what you feel, be who you are, mm -hmm. go into the unknown, touch those things that you're not supposed to touch, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. And um, and so that, that's the whole point of the song, and it ends with him saying, I dare you. Mm -hmm. Well, which, go ahead. It's just an interesting concept, you which? know, because on the one hand, it's like, yeah, what is over there? I want to see what's over there. But on the other hand, it's like Chesterton said, if, if, if you see you know, barriers somewhere, they're probably up there for a reason, and you better you better know why, why they're, they're up there. there before you take them down. Yeah. Which I think is extremely wise, yes. because he's not saying never take them down. Mm -hmm. But he is saying, well, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, so a lot, a lot of my life I've been trying to figure out the balance between the two of those things, because you, you know, like you've seen, whether it's Christianity or anything, I'm always taking, like, yeah. Some weird perspective on yes. something that the majority doesn't, right. you know, hold to. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. you, you know, is, yeah. is you, you know, does that does that speak to a certain type of you know rebellious type of nature, or or is it that most nine times out of ten the majority are wrong, or is it because I just like being a contrarian, or is it a combination of all those things? You know what I mean? Hmm. That's interesting <clears throat> because, question to ask. Yeah. Because at the beginning, like, you and I, it wasn't like a massive conflict, but it was just something that made life harder or more for you than me was like the parenting stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm very kind of unorthodox in the parenting. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which, which, which in my mind, it's probably going to make for a more whole adult. Adult. Mm hmm But. Yeah makes parenting extremely more difficult than it needs yeah. to be because now these kids are saying, well, I don't, well, this, I'm making a case. And here's right. my case. And I didn't think your punishment was just, therefore I, I didn't listen to right. it. What? Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. So, so, you know, I... Not I, that the child can get away with doing something like that, just not taking their punishment because it's unjust to them, but it's just the very fact that the child We just created an environment where, where that's okay like for that him that to say that. Okay. I would never have told my parents that... The, even if I thought it, I would have never said it out loud. And I wouldn't have just not taken my punishment. Like, you were supposed to be grounded, and you just left? You just went outside and played? Like, you just did that? Right, right. But it's unjust? But I, I am... <laughs> I, I do not I do not want to create adults who are just gonna go with whatever the current zeitgeist is. Yeah. Or to just listen to authority because it's the authority. Yeah. And yeah, I, a, I mean I see what you're saying. And it's it's a weird dynamic because I, I believe the especially the boys, like they have a very healthy respect for me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they also feel like they can argue and make their points and say you're wrong here. Mm -hmm. and, and they don't have to couch it in any weird mm -hmm. language. Or, mm -hmm. You know, they can just say, no, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, you made a mistake. You're wrong. Mm -hmm. And I could say, well, no, I think you're wrong. And this is why. Yeah. And, and, you know. It, and you don't have sky's the limit. Like, they can't be just all out and out disrespectful in the conversation. Like, you will let them be, you know, push the line. I, there. I but just, there's a certain point where you draw I, the I line. I think there's a difference. 
I think a lot of parents feel like anytime a kid disagrees with them, it's disrespect. And I don't feel that them disagreeing with me is disrespectful. I don't tolerate disrespect, but to me, I, and that was kind of where our, our thing was because you were like, yo, they're being disrespectful. I'm like, how are they being disrespectful? They have an opinion. They can't have an opinion. Oh. Um, you know, and so, and so annoying. my point is I want to raise kid, adults who are going to, you know, mm -hmm. you know, are going to understand, okay, if there are societal limits or cultural limits or even biblical limits, they're there for a very rational reason. It's not because... It's just the the authority is saying it. Mm -hmm. But if the authority is saying something that is wrong, I want them to be able to stand up by themselves and hold to their conviction if the entire world was against it. Well, yeah. And I mean, that's that's obvious. I would say that, well, Johan is our child that would say, well, I didn't think it was a just punishment. So, he But did. he's also, that's that right, that's what I'm saying. But he's also the one that, you know, there was that thing going on in that park and they had people that were, you know, pro-abortion and he went up of his own volition and had a giant conversation Ma yes made this guy so uncomfortable about his decision that the guy basically kept trying to get him to go away yeah. because johan was coming up with some very very good points and at first it was funny because when the kid first started you and i weren't together at the time yeah I was just watching your kids and he went over and he started talking to the kid to the guy and it was like I could see that the guy at first was just like, oh, look at this yeah, yeah. child. This Silly me, wee bro. Boy. There's some Silly watermelon me, over yeah. there for you, child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Johan would not let the subject go, and he kept going and going with it. And, you know, Johan's speech has improved now, but it was it was even more difficult to understand him at the time. So I think the guy completely underestimated Johan's intellect. And Johan went into that conversation and made that guy extremely... The guy was squirming. And just wanted it to end. <laughs> yeah, he, he wanted out of that conversation. But I but I don't I don't think you get a kid like that if you tell them you need to obey everything that adults say because when the guy was trying to end the conversation, he wasn't trying to end it. He was like, No, Yeah, you, the guy you had know. to flee. Yeah. He had to run. But yeah, that that's my point. It's like yeah. So I agree, it's just it does make it a, a more challenging. <laughs> but it, it, it you know, it's like you were saying, like, it creates a lot more problems that we don't necessarily have to deal with. But. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be good for him in the long run because my job, I think our job is not about making it easy for us. It's, it's about a, preparing them for their futures. Yeah, and and, and I agree with and that. Be it's willing just to stand to be willing to stand by yourself sometimes and know you're going to offend people. Mm -hmm. You know, in the metal community, yeah, nine times out of ten, you 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 take a strident pro-life stance, people are going to be mad at you. Right. In Christian community, if you take a strident socialist <laughs> stance or <laughs> you know, or Medicare you, uh, for all stance. Or a metal YouTube channel. Or, or, yeah, people are <laughs> going to be upset at you. And I, I want them to really be able to make decisions based on what their actual convictions yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, what do you believe? What are you willing to live and die for? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't necessarily have to align with our beliefs. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Dorian is a... He's like, look, man, as soon as I get a, I'm getting a gun, somebody comes to my house, I'm blowing them away. Sorry, Dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, you know... He, He's not with the pacifism thing. He's right. not with the open right. borders thing. He's like, nah, let those people stay. Mm -hmm. those people. You know, like, so it's it's not like, you know, <laughs> people talk about like brainwashing and all that. I it's know. Like, you have no idea. If I could brainwash him to not do that, because I feel like that will just end in some sort of a tragedy. Like there's so many times that people have a weapon in their house and that they fire it off at what they think is the intruder and it lands being a family member. Like it happens so many times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? What can you do? All right. Okay. You, you know what? I have to say this. This song met, was nothing like what you just explained. Literally for me, this song, what, when, it, when I hit the line that said, for convictions that you feel like sound from beds, bells to peel. Okay. Dare to shout out loud for convictions that you feel like that whole part. That to me was like inside of my soul is trapped so much art that I have no way of expressing because I can't draw as good as what is inside of me and I can't sing as good as what's inside of me and I don't play an instrument as good as what's inside of me so there's like no way for me to like spill out all this that's inside of me and so when it said for the convictions that you feel like just put it out like 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 that I was like oh my word and then I was thinking maybe if I get like learn 
the violin or like learn some sort of an instrument to like, oh, I gotta get that out. And so I was thinking, I wish I knew who I could say there must, and then I was like picturing myself Googling, you know, how do you get out the art that's in your soul? And then like, it became all about that, the whole thing, the whole thing. So anyway. Why do you give the song? Uh, you go first. It's a 9.3. Uh, I think This for... guy had some very solid picks. Mm -hmm. And they were very diverse. I know. I'm going with a 9. Yeah. Nine. That ding, 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 ding. I really like that. I bet you a bunch of bands were influenced by this band, for sure. Okay. Like well. metal. Alright. They, they are all. The CSN-a-thon is over. Yes. Sorry, oh. dear listener. Yep. Then out. Sorry, out. Gone. Buhas. Oh. It's Bauhaus, you weirdo. <laughs> Buhas. <laughs> Buhas. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna teach the kids all their grammar. <laughs> What's the name of this record? Cackle? Mm -hmm. I love your pugs. They're so solid. Hmm? They're so solid. <laughs> Orion's gonna be like you. I'll be like so sad if I don't have you anymore. And I'll keep smothering him, and his wife will be like, Can you stop hugging my husband? But he's my son. What's the name of this song? It'll be one Double of those Dare. -laws that there it is. Double Dare. Mother in laws that the girl hates. Let me see your mother. She's gonna smother you again. <clears throat> Ready? <coughs> yeah. I'm Vin. I'm sorry. That's Booby. And Jolpy and Ghosty and Chip. Uh, this is, uh, what did you call them? Boo Boo Hoos? <laughs> I don't know. Boo Hoos? Boo Hoos. Boo Hoos. 